iPhone 8 rumors claim up to 10 different prototypes being tested at the moment. Samsung begins pushing the bar with software updates, though in a very weird way, and Cyber Monday being upon us doesn't mean deals won't last longer. I'm Jaime Rivera, and about the only Cyber Monday deal that I have to deal with is editing this video. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with the Cyber Monday deals that you can still take advantage of as they will continue, particularly with Amazon. Starting with the Moto Z, believe it or not, if you go for the 64 gigabyte variant, you can get it for $200 off, making it even less expensive than the regular variant. In addition to that, you can also find deals on Garmin, Fitbit as well, and uh, the list just goes on. You can learn more in the description. And if you're curious over how Black Friday went, this is rather interesting. We've got some statistics over the amount of purchases is made during Black Friday alone, $3.4 billion in the US. But probably the coolest part of the statistic is that almost half that, $1.2 billion, was consumed using mobile applications, either mobile stores or sometimes mobile applications as well, meaning buying mobile applications. Uh, so it does prove that the market is growing into more and more of a mobile spec. Uh, let's see if it continues or when it will level out. Now, one deal you should probably consider is uh, Google Play Music, as Google is yet again offering four months completely free of a trial. And in addition to that, it's also bundling a subscription to YouTube Red if you want to give that a try. And it just proves just how bad it's going for Google Play Music. If anything, I would be compelled to give it a try for YouTube Red and not for the music. But anyways, you can learn more about what you have to do in the description as well. Let's move the spotlight over to Samsung and something the company doesn't do right, which is called software updates. We have got some very interesting reports that claim that certain users from the Galaxy Note 5 are already getting the Grace UX. And that UX is probably my favorite from the launch of the Galaxy Note 7 that is no more. We've been waiting for that to reach the Galaxy S7 Edge and Galaxy S7, but no, the Note 5 gets it first. And then every other device can probably try Nougat on these S7 devices if you go for the beta. And finally, the very interesting news today have to do with the iPhone 8 and the rumors that Apple is testing up to 10 prototypes of this phone. It's 10 years of iPhone, and definitely I'm sure that Cupertino wants to get this one right. But Apple has always been famous for prototyping, for testing different devices. The company pretty much can build whatever it wants in Cupertino campus. It's got everything it needs for that, and that's really cool. Uh, we hear that one of these variants brings a curved OLED display, which is great, but it leads me to the question of the day. If you were to sit down right now and define what things you would want to see from the next generation iPhone for you to want to buy them, what would these be? In my case, I won't lie. I'm actually going back to the Galaxy S7 Edge right now for a little video that we're working on. And uh, yeah, curved displays, I love them. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, you know the way it goes. If you want to get the news earlier before the video was filmed, follow us on pocketnow.com and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.